What are you looking at? Well, I made a boop. So as you guys know, I've been having some steering binding issues with this car. Um, it, it messed things up in West Palm Beach. All right, there's the carnage. Rip. Show them the poor Fendi. We're laying frame, boys. Yeah, the Fendi got wrecked. Basically, the steering was binding at lock and it, it broke the lower control arm bolt. Um, I tried to put some grease, believe it or not, some gun grease on the heim joint because the heim joint is what was binding. Um, and that didn't work. I still was having steering binding issues. So then I tried some WD-40. Good old WD. Figured that would do the trick. Uh, it did not do the trick. So, snap the uh, tie rod heim joint. Let me show you guys what that looks like. As you can see, it broke it clean. This is just a uh, aluminum end piece. It broke it clean off of the tie rod end. So it doesn't look like any damage is done to the lower control arm for the most part. I mean, there's some like, I don't know, some marks and shit like that from the tie rod dangling and what have you. But everything seems fine. So I should theoretically just be able to change this piece and everything work out. Uh, but while I'm in here, I'm going to replace the knuckle bracket. Actually, uh, we'll go ahead and get a car up on jack stands to show you guys. So we can see here, this thing is absolutely destroyed. But I mean, other than that, it doesn't seem like there's any damage to the tie rod. The tie rod still seems relatively straight. So I just need to replace this piece. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this powder coated because as you can see with the tie rod dangling, kind of mess things up. But everything else looks okay. The culprit is this thing right here. The uh, heim joint, well, for one, the heim joint was loose, so then I just, I over tightened this and um, it kind of caused some, some binding because the misalignment spacers, uh, I don't know, too tight, whatever the case is, but this, as you would turn, it would, you can kind of see it doing it now. See how there's like play in it and that should not happen. So essentially what was happening was as I was turning the wheel, there would be the little bit of play and then, so right there, I don't know if you guys can tell, but so play, play, and then that is stuck. And I have to put a substantial amount of more force in order to turn it. So yeah, I mean, a, a lot went wrong, but at the end of the day, the only thing that broke was was this. I already ordered new heim joints, so I just need to replace those. I also have something else I want to do to try to get more angle out of this, because you'll notice, let me see if I can brighten this up. 
you'll notice that the knuckle bracket is hitting the lower control arm. So I actually have a couple ideas um, to get a little more angle out of this kit. I'm gonna reach out to Ricky Sellers, he's a fabricator uh, in Daytona Beach. I'm gonna bring this knuckle to him and see if he can do some modifications to get us a little more steering angle. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to take you guys through what happened. As we look at the video, you can see as I come in to initiate, the steering binds as it gets to full lock. In fact, within the car, I actually had to yank the steering wheel because when I flicked it, initially it got hung up, so then I had to yank the steering wheel to get it to steer in the direction that I wanted it to go. At this point, it was already too late, right? So that split second that it took for me to correct or maybe the second or two it took me to correct. That was already too much time taken away from focusing on, on driving the car I needed, the way that I needed to drive it. The second thing that went wrong was the tire debeated. So any sort of grip, any chance at grip that I would have had, as soon as the tire debeated, that goes out the window. I also ordered a set of stage wheels for the Camaro because as you can see, the Vossen definitely took a beating. Um, if anyone's interested in the Vossens, you're welcome to have it. I'll, I'll sign uh, this curb was here on the, on the wheel. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, the wheels, so new wheels, new heim joint, new tie rod end link, and then an alignment. So, I mean, honestly, not too much damage done, considering. Um, but, yeah, the Camaro will be back as soon as the, the parts are already ordered, so I'd say maybe a week. So if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and please make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be doing tons of videos at least once a week on YouTube. So it would mean a lot if you guys go ahead and subscribe.